we now declare today Laura Linney Day in Hollywood. It's now time to hear from our honoree, the amazing, masterful Laura Linney. My goodness gracious. I, I had a feeling this would be um, a wonderfully thrilling, challenging day, but that going through listening to Chris and to Dear Holland and having all my nearest and dearest here is really, uh, it's even more overwhelming than I, than I thought it would be. Um, thank, I want to thank all of you for being here today, the photographers, the people who set up the tents, the people in the chairs, the people across the streets, um, and especially to the Chamber of Commerce for making this day possible. If someone had told me 20 years ago that this camera-shy theater person would be represented amongst her idols of film and television, I would never have believed it. I would simply have deemed it absolute crazy talk. It would have been ludicrous and it would have sounded to me as puzzling and indecipherable as Charlie Brown's teacher. And I can honestly tell you that even after 30 years, I am still on a daily basis quietly stunned and not so quietly exhilarated to be embraced by not only by Los Angeles itself, but by the industries, the businesses, and the people here that I love that call this place home. My time spent filming and on sets in and among inspiring actors and filmmakers has been one of the great, surprising, enriching joys of my life. And to have, <laughs> oh boy, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's where we are, I hope he's okay. Um, to have my name held and protected by a star on this famous stretch of sidewalk is beyond my wildest dreams. But, is he okay? Is he all right? Just want to make sure he's okay. okay. Oh dear. It's a, it's a difficult world we're living in these days. Things like this are intersecting everywhere. So on this day, if there is a day, please, I mean, since it is Laura Linney Day, I hope that we can all keep a little compassion in our hearts and educate ourselves about the needs of others and mental illness and addiction and everything that is being um, put in front of us on a, on a daily basis. Um, so as I was saying, to have my name held and protected by a star on this famous stretch of sidewalk is beyond my wildest dreams. But as thrilling as this all is, the ultimate reward, of course, is always the work itself. It's the invitation and the time given, hopefully by like-minded people, to do the often unglamorous, yet exciting, challenging, necessary task of telling stories that deepen our connection to ourselves and to our fellow humans. The work, hopefully, not only enhances our perceptions of each other in both modest and even significant ways, but it can also visually or emotionally expose viewers to the previously unseen or unfelt. It can introduce us all to parts of ourselves that we had no idea existed. So in a time where our world is so challenging, when so much is confusing and chaotic and upsetting, it is the one tenant that holds firm to me, especially during this unstable time, that the arts are medicinal, clarifying, nourishing endeavor, and it is a wonderful thing to be in service to. Much in today's world is a waste of time. We squander what is valuable, but you can't go wrong with time spent with and around the arts. Regardless of your profession or your belief system, the arts are just good for you, for your family, for your community at large. They make everyone and everything better. That is a truth that I hold dear. What my film and television life has also given me is all of you. Whether we have worked together closely or we have never met, I can never thank you all enough. My closest friends, yes, Jean, Tony, Leland, August. <laughs> um, and uh, Megan, where are you, Megan? 
Cora and Matt. Um, thank you for being here today. My remarkable colleagues, there are far too many to name, but that includes you, Chris Mundy, and you, m marvelous, wonderful Holland Taylor, who you have both given me so much. Your friendship means so much to me, and it means the world to me that you are here. I know it's, you know, there are other things you all would rather be doing, so thank you. Um, and that is you, my dedicated team. Tony Howard, Brian Mann, Aline Kashishian, Scott Wexler, Kevin Yorn, Jen Plant, and Michael Growler. And that is my beloved Ozark family, including the guy whose name is on the star behind me, and Patrick Markey, Alexa Fogel, everyone at Netflix, Bella, thank you for being here, and especially everyone at MRC, including Modi and Elise, thank you so much for making you know, all of you, a difficult last year of filming, bearable and enjoyable, and keeping us safe. Thank you. Uh, thank you to the students, the faculty, and the administration of the Juilliard School for your continued inspiration, and to my extended family down south, and to the Linnies in New York City, and to James and Rachel. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> and especially to my stepfather, who um, I think would have been especially chuffed by this. And to my beautiful mother, my unbelievable aunt, thank you both so much for your undying love and your humor and your support and for challenging me. But I would really like to end by sending my thanks and my deep love to my son and to my husband and to the entire Shower family, especially acknowledging my father-in-law, Peter Shower. They have all encouraged this introvert to live large, to love with abandon, arms open and outstretched, to hug long and hard, to laugh full-throated, and to fight with full lungs, and speak up and talk loud, to embrace all the good we can, to create it together with spirit and power and a life-embracing gusto. I wish all of this for all of you as well. So thank you so much for this amazing day. I will never forget it, and hooray for Hollywood. Yeah.